G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Danya. Hi. We are watching, once again, another episode of Big Bang Theory. This one is what episode, what season, and what title is it? Season 2, episode 11, The Bath Item Gift Hypothesis. 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 Harry Potter's. Harry Potter's there. And we got him Leviosa. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into it. If you guys do enjoy it, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to go watch these in full, head over to Patreon. All the links will be down in the description right down there. Right now, we're very close to ending friends but there's plenty more coming your way ladies and gentlemen including big bang theory some anime it's a secret these guys have been staying tuned you know what's coming up ladies and gentlemen and also don't forget how i met your mother all right let's do this let's hop right in and watch some big bang theory let's go guys Superman cleans his uniform by flying into Earth's yellow sun, which leaves the invulnerable Kryptonian fabric unharmed and daisy fresh. <laughs> what if he gets something Kryptonian on it? Like what? Kryptonian mustard. <laughs> Kryptonian condiments were destroyed when the planet Krypton exploded. There he goes. Superman's body is Kryptonian, therefore his sweat is Kryptonian. Yeah, Superman doesn't sweat on Earth. He's invited for dinner in the bottle city of Kandor. Before dinner, his host says, who's up for a little Kryptonian tetherball? Uniform now stained with indestructible Kryptonian perspiration. Ooh. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah. Superman would have taken his uniform to a Kandorian dry cleaner before he left the bottle. I give up. You can't have a rational argument with this guy. <laughs> Isn't that the guy who won the MacArthur Genius Grant last year? Not all at once. Please. Oh, Leonard. No rush. <laughs> now Sheldon. <laughs> Can I go again? No, it's David Underhill. So what? This provided the first conclusive evidence for the existence of galactic dark matter. Well, I have it's for you. The first is big, the other's whoop. <laughs> <laughs> big and whoop. Big. Made almost all the work you've done since you've been here completely useless. Damn. Okay, maybe this guy was just in the right place at the right time, so he got lucky. Okay. He's, the, he's a very handsome man. If I was gonna go that way, I'm more of a Zac Efron. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, like you have a shot with Zach Efron. Zach like Efron is Zach Efron, I'm sorry. Are you Leonard Hofstetter? David Underhill. Yeah. Dr. Gable has said, be able to give me a hand. You want to work with me? No problem. Here's my home number. Here's my office. Here's my parents' number up in New Jersey. Congratulations on the MacArthur grant, by the way. Big fan. I'll call you. I thought he said, big whoop. Uh, what are you looking at? You've never seen a hypocrite before? <laughs> yes. I've seen mm -hmm. one. Excuse me, the world is full of hypocrites. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'm a bit, I don't like I, that person. At, at times, I'm hip. <laughs> at times, I'm like that. Everyone's like that, really. Most people are, yeah. Mostly the assholes are like that, though. So you you saying you are like that, and I'm like that, and then you say that assholes are like that, so you're calling ourselves assholes? No, assholes are more hypocritical. Oh, okay. There's people that are slightly hypocritical, then there's assholes who are just completely hypocritical. Okay. 90% of the time. Oh, my oh my God. Hey, <laughs> we, we bowling serious, <laughs> mate. They don't need to have their names on the show. <laughs> that nah, we, we bowling <laughs> is serious, mate. Just, uh, oh, my God. Ask our daughter. She's four yeah. years old, mate. She takes that thing serious. Oh, no. She kicks everyone's ass, and she's four years old. I don't yeah. know how. Uh, like, I can be winning at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, at the end, I've, been, I've lost by 20. <coughs> I don't know freaking how or what happened. Yeah. your best 68. <laughs> oh, my oh God. God. That's too much. Hey guys. I've never seen someone ball that in another how lane How can like you do that? that? That's I've not possible. Seen, no. I've never seen someone in Wii Sports ball it in the other lane like that. That's not possible? Well... I think Big Bang Theory just proved that it is. <laughs> oh, do over, do over. There are no do overs. There are always do overs when my people play sport. <laughs> Where were you? That's more important than Wee Bowling Night. <laughs> it's just a video game, and we suck at it. Nice motivational speech from the team captain. <laughs> I was working with Dave Underhill. Sounds like Leonard's got a new BFF. Actually, he's pretty cool. Collects vintage motorcycles. He plays in a rock band. We're in a rock band. No. Really? I sure about that. We Even though the Beatles are in a rock band. Yeah. Motivational speech from our lead guitarist. He does this hysterical impersonation of Stephen Hawking having phone sets. What are you wearing? <laughs> 
That's not, he does it better. He said he was gonna take me to the gym tomorrow, so I'm gonna go practice my sit-ups. Oh my god. Humongous man crush, dude. It's officially a bromance. <laughs> hey, Sheldon, are you and Leonard putting up a Christmas tree? No, because we don't celebrate the ancient pagan festival of Saturnalia. Saturnalia? Saturnalia. It's time for Sheldon's beloved Christmas special. Here we go. In the pre-Christian era. Is oh my god, did you see what Raj was just doing? No. He was polishing his Wii remote. <laughs> a special. He's legit polishing his take Wii it, remote. Take it like, serious. Sheldon was pretty Okay, if someone out. scores a 68 in Wii bowling, I don't think they should be taking it seriously. Pagans <laughs> brought evergreen boughs into their homes as an act of sympathetic magic. Eventually, it becomes the so-called Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. And that, Charlie Brown, is what boredom is all about. <laughs> You and Leonard a few silly neighbor gifts, so I'll just put them under my tree. Would you do such a thing? I don't uh, know because you haven't given me a gift. You've given me an obligation. Yep. True. It's true. I agree. Don't feel bad. First Hanukkah with Sheldon, he yelled at me for eight nights. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to get me anything in return. Essence of the custom is that I now have to go out and purchase for you a gift, presenting the same perceived level of friendship as that represented by the gift you've given me. Okay. One suicide rates skyrocket this time of year i don't think it's for that reason mate you never know nah it's not mm. it's okay you know how hard it is mostly when you don't know the other person yeah I, but you're not going to neck yourself is the fact that I pa know. parents can't afford to give their kids presents so they do that sort of thing. i know no i'm not talking about that i'm saying what he's saying it's true about if you don't know the person and you don't know what they what they like, if that person gives you a present, it's a gift uh, card. A gift card. Yeah. Gift card. Yeah, maybe. Gift card. Money. Elf sticker says to Sheldon. The, the die has been cast. <laughs> I know it's funny when it's not happening to us. <laughs> Sheldon, I am very, very sorry. I brought this on myself by being such an endearing and important part of your life. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need a ride to the mall. <laughs> it's happening to us. <laughs> See? I had no idea it was so heavy. Yeah, lucky for you, it wasn't moving. Ooh, are you okay? It's a little motorcycle accident. God, how fast were you going? I don't know. Saw such a blur. Oh, he couldn't even get it started. Uh, Dave. Hi, Penny. You mind giving me a hand with Speed Racer oh, yeah. here? Yeah, sure. Hey, how do you know Leonard? I'm a physicist. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's just that the physicists I know are indoorsy and pale. <laughs> I'm not indoorsy. I just wear the appropriate sunblock because I don't take melanoma lightly. Oh, God. <laughs> so, are you and Leonard working on an experiment together? Yeah, actually, we are. I I love science. Since when? Since always. I am just nuts for the whole subatomic particle thing. Okay. I could show the last thing I would ever call you is a geek. <laughs> well, that's what I am, queen of the nerds. Really, the lab we're working in. We've got some cool toys, you know, lasers and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I have always wanted to see a big science lab. Since when? Since always. <laughs> You okay here? How about we go see it now? Just we grab a little bite to eat. Yeah, that sounds great. Let me just get my jacket. That was quick. Yep. Oh, you and her. No, just neighbors. Really? I don't know how you live next door to that without doing something about it. <laughs> science is my lady. Ladies, you can okay. say that. Let's go. See you tomorrow, Leonard. See ya. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you forget your key? Oh my god. Oh no. I don't see anything in here a woman would want. Are uh, you sure? You sure about that, right? Lotion? That's the estrogen hat trick. There you go. Children, if you don't like this stuff, let's just go next door and build her a bear. Bears are terrifying. It's perfect. You got fainty scented bath oil, promotes relaxation. That presupposes Penny is tense. If she knows you, she's tense. We all are. <laughs> Buy a basket. <laughs> Excuse Let's say for a moment that I accept the bath item gift hypothesis. Size. This one. Let's go. Put no thought into that. Uh, uh, this one. <laughs> I have insufficient data to proceed. To oh no! Me, I were to give you this gift basket, scribe the hypothetical relationship that exists between us. Now, are we friends, colleagues? Are you my grandmother? <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about, and you're making me a little uncomfortable. Sounds just like you and Penny. We'll take it. <laughs> See, there you go. Hey, Leonard, come join us. Penny, what a surprise. This place is unbelievable. Yeah, I know. I've been offering to show you around for a year and a half. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You got a feel for Leonard on this one, ladies yeah. and gentlemen.
You always said you had yoga. Uh, Maybe I heard you wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is an amazing woman, Leonard. Imagine being curious and agile in other respects. Yes, please shut up. Don't you think you and I should get back to the lab? Actually, I was thinking about taking the afternoon off so I could work on another experiment with Penny. We're going to explore the effects of tequila shots on a gorgeous 22-year-old woman. Uh, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. Oh, can I drive the motorcycle? Yeah, why not? You can't do any worse than Leonard. By the way, my leg is killing me. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Poor Leonard. Poor fella. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Feliz Navidad. Oh my oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one or two things have happened here. He's either conned them into buying gifts for Penny as well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or he's bought gifts for everyone. I just love this. He's just eating a freaking ice cream, carrying a small basket, and the other two are there freaking dying, carrying three each. Like, look at his face. <laughs> I love it. Mm. Great news, Leonard. I've solved my penny gift dilemma. Yippee. Oh, God. You see, I will open her gift to me first and then excuse myself feigning digestive distress. The basket closest to that value, give it to her. Then I'll return the others for a full refund. Okay, that's a good idea. Brilliant. <laughs> Is it okay if I hide them in your room? That smell makes me nauseated. Why couldn't you have just done what Leonard did and get Penny a new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh. My leg is killing me, thanks for asking. <laughs> Poor fella. All right, yeah. calm down. You said that you didn't want to go out with me because I was too smart for you. Correct. Uh, news correct. Mm -hmm. That was correct right there, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely correct. David Underhill is ten times smarter than me. What's up with that? Yeah, what's up with that? Why are you yelling at me? Dave is not smarter than you. He's an idiot. Smart guy takes the nude photos of his wife off his cell phone before he tries to take nude photos of his girlfriend. Oh. The guy is married. Oh, that's terrible. If you are so okay with the way things are between us, why are you so jealous? The important thing is he's married and that's terrible. <laughs> Nice save, genius. Eggnog? Lactose. Yeah. It's just rum. It stopped being eggnog like half an hour ago. <laughs> Smooth. Merry Christmas. Aww. By the way, my leg is killing me. Thanks for asking. <laughs> that should be a shirt. My leg is killing me. Thanks, Thanks for, for asking. asking. How's your leg? Very good. Thanks for asking. Come on in. <laughs> Penny, you're here to exchange gifts. Pleased to know I'm prepared for whatever you have to offer. <laughs> I should note I'm having some digestive distress. <laughs> oh, a napkin. Turn it over. <laughs> to Sheldon, live long and prosper. Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> He came into the restaurant. Sorry, the napkin's dirty. He wiped his mouth with it. I possess the DNA. Oh of my Leonard god. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. Look, All I need is a healthy ovum, and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. Okay. He can do that if he wants. All I'm giving you is the napkin, show. Be right back. Which one are you going to give her now? Here, exactly. The gift certificate for motorcycle lessons. <laughs> Not letting the bike fall on you while standing still is lesson one. Ooh. I think you'll appreciate what I got you. 101 totally cool science experiments for kids. <laughs> you said you like science. How good is that? You know, because you're so into science. <laughs> All of them. Not enough, is it? Here. Uh oh. <laughs> Leonard, look, Sheldon's hugging me. <laughs> it's a Saturnalia miracle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Great. Yep. Great episode.
Oh my gosh. I think uh I think Penny now has become really good friends with Sheldon. I love the way he was hiding her like I he like when know. he received the <laughs> napkin of Leonard from Leonard Nimoy and he's like Yeah, he glazed. He's like he was like, I don't know whether to cry or be happy. He's like <laughs> <laughs> was amazing. Getting a bit of amazing acting. acting. Oh, it is. It is. Absolutely incredible. It is. And I love how he was prepared for every possible present. And then he ended up giving her everything and that he like, had. It's not like, enough. It's not enough. <laughs> and he then can... gives her the most awkward hug known to history of mankind. Oh, my God. So good. Um, yeah. Penny is uh, a science lady. Yeah. Apparently now. Well. She's got 101 experiments for kids. There you go. So. Should have been 101 experiments for dummies, but that's another story. <laughs> um, you yeah. learn a lot with those. Yeah. With the dummy what things? The dummy books? I don't know. Yeah, history for dummies. How to cook for dummies. You've read them, haven't you? No, you have no proof about that. The way you're talking about the titles, like <laughs> very descriptive, like you've already read them before. I read one at university called... How to sleep for dummies. <laughs> you can't get any sleep. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. Oh, my God. They got, me as a, they got it as a present for me here, Tanya. You're going to need this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. So useful. <laughs> we used to get like three or four hours sleep every night. Was That's crazy. Crazy. So, yeah. Le- and uh, by the way, my leg is fine. Thanks for asking. There you go. That'd be perfect t shirt. <laughs> And you just name different body parts and you put, like, the hashtag um, uh, TBBT. Yeah, that'd be, re- that'd be awesome. awesome. I have different ones with different... I'm giving people books. ideas, yeah. Yeah, that's Ladies right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very for much free. for watching. We're going to watch another TV series. This next one coming up is Friends. So head over to Patreon. You will see these all separately over on YouTube. And maybe without the watermark over on YouTube. Or, yeah. By the time you see this, there will be no watermark. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for that. Bye-bye. Bye.